So yes, welcome back to a new episode and as you can see here right away we got two transfer offers. We get an offer for Sadio Mane on 20... what? 25.5 million to Inter Milan? No, thank you. That's a lot of money but I want to keep Mane. And Romero is 18 million. I'm gonna, I wanna keep him as well. So sorry Stock City. Bye bye. So yeah, we are gonna play our first game today and it's gonna be against Derby County. They are in the bottom of the league as you can see here. They only scored one goal. No, they are... What? They're in the 19th place. They have scored one goal, conceded six, so they have a minus five on goal difference. We haven't conceded a goal yet. We won against Everton by only one nil. That's pretty much a bad result actually with the team we have so we have scored five conceded zero which give us gives us a goal difference on five if you didn't know that so I'm gonna switch some players up I think I'm gonna play the strongest team I have and I will see you guys on the pitch so guys welcome to St. Mary's Stadium we are gonna play against Derby County there, we find them in the 19th place. This is the team I'm gonna play. Butland, Tete, Riddivald, Browning, Wendell, Wanjama, Rodriguez, Son, Ramirez, Mane and Moriel. I'm not playing Ward Prowse because he's pretty much tired. He's really tired from the last game. Or, or yeah, the last game from uh, the previous episode where we played Alberg in the Champions League. And one pretty easy by 3-0 and this game as well or this episode as well will be some uh, some uh, Champions League games we're gonna play our second leg against uh, Alberg after this game and we're gonna play at home play to watch is actually guess from mirrors or some weird reason I know he's, he played really good but I wouldn't put him as a player to watch. I really would have. I would have put like Mane or someone as players to watch. Right after Moriel. Moriel finesse this, and it's the back of the corner, and it's a golazo. Luis Moriel is second goal for the season here. Great pass, Moriel. Or Gas Ramirez passes it to Mane. Mane lays it off to Moriel. Moriel with a great finesse, and it adds up. Adds up in the back on the corner there and it's go it's a golazo so we are finally winning games in the beginning of the season we struggled in the beginning of the last season where we pretty much had like I think it was like four or five games before we got our first win but we have played against weaker teams every time we struggled a bit with and we played QPR in the first game, we won by 4-0. And that's what you can expect for playing with. Or playing against weaker teams like that. Late of the Mir no, Muriel, I meant Muriel. Finestes back in the corner and it's his second goal of the game. He is our goal scoring machine. He's gonna score a lot of goals this season. He gets his third goal in three games here yeah three games in the league Luis Moriel with a beast finesse there he cuts inside he runs he finesses it back in the corner and there goes the final whistle it's a come through a 2-0 win Luis Moriel with two goals assists to I really don't know we need to check that I think Ramirez got an assist. Let's see. Mane with. What? Mane with. Man of the match? Did he get two assists? No, he got one assist, and Ramirez got another assist. So, two goals for our goal scoring machine. Luis Moriel, five shots, five on target. Two shots, one on target. We, we didn't dominate them as much as I wanted them to, or as I wanted to. But. We played, we played pretty good. So we're gonna play the second leg against Alborg. 
in the next match. And um, as you can see, the transfer window is coming to an end soon. So maybe we can sh sell. Uh, maybe we can sell Tadic, or maybe we have to keep him. We will see by the end of the transfer window. So I will see you guys on the pitch for our home game against Alborg. So guys, welcome to St. Mary Stadium. We are gonna play the Champions League. And we are gonna play against Alborg again. This is the second leg. We won the first one by 3-0. This one shouldn't really be any problems for us. I am playing a weaker team because the next game in like two or three days we have Man Manchester City and I want to have my strongest team against Manchester City. Here's Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse. Prowse. Oh, it's the crossbar. Ah, Ward Prowse hits the crossbar there. As you can see, we are actually dominating Alberg. We can really like walk past everything they have. Even with a player like Ward Browse. He isn't bad, but to be honest he isn't a player that should be like running through the defense like they are nothing nothing. Oh shit. Spalwis, are we gonna get a goal for them? No. We can't even hit the target. What the hell? Well you got a shot off that's always something I guess. There's Spalwis again. I think Spalwis is maybe their best player. I have no idea who or how good Alberg really is in the state of their players. Dude. That almost went in. Great save by Butland. He comes to a cross and it's a goal! What? It's a goal? Really? What happened there? We're one nil down? How the f beep happened there? How in the... No way! And it's Balwis. I just said that Balwis might be their best player. And now he scored on us. Well, we are still two goals ahead of them from the previous game, but still. That's a great ball to Seeger. Ryan Seeger gets inside. Ryan Seeger gonna finesse. Oh my god. How did we not score there? Get a great pass like that. Shane Long. Nice. Nine, 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 nine. Yo. Come on. Seeger. Run. Use that like 12 pace you have. Score. No. And Junami again. Reed, no. Reed is the only one I'm really proud of this game. Really, we lost against Alberg at home? How the hell did that happen? What? what? How did Reed get a 6.2? He was the only good one. How many shots did they have? Seeger got four shots, hit the target once. Junami two shots, two on target. Well, fuck this game. Eleven shots, six on target. They had four shots, three on target. We lost, but we are gonna go through it anyway. Because we won 3 1 the last game. Wolfsburg won, Marcial won, and Cheska Moscow won. So that's something, I guess. I don't, I don't even. No. I, I can't accept that. We need to lose against Man City. To help them a bit in the league. Well yeah guys, that's gonna be the end of the episode. Comment down below why you think uh, Liverpool and Arsenal are struggling in the lead after... I know we have only played three games, but still, how? How are they doing like this? I have no idea. You need to comment down below, yeah. And you need to leave a like on the video, yeah? And you need to subscribe to my channel to know when I post my videos, yeah? So, yeah guys, that's gonna be the end of the episode, so... Bye!